We get to lunch right on time. The creator's already there, sunglasses on, even though he's indoors. He lifts them up when he sees us. He stands up from the booth, hugs mom first, and then hugs me into a tight squeeze, picking me up off the ground. McCurdy curds, he says, finally setting me down as he repositions his sunglasses. My favorite little actress. Mom beams. You know, I work with a lot of young actresses. A lot of them are pretty, some of them are funny, but none of them are as talented as you. Mom's face looks like it's going to rip if she smiles any bigger. I smile too, with my teeth, like Mom specified. Thank you. I'm in it, the creator continues on, spooning some of the tuna tartare he already ordered onto his appetizer plate. You act circles around them. You could win an Oscar someday. Thank you. This is how conversations with the creator usually start. He'll heap the compliments on while undercutting other talent that he works with. I appreciate the compliments. The creator's approval means a lot to me. He's the reason I'm a series regular on a television show. He's the reason my family and I don't have to worry about money anymore. But at the same time, I wonder if he's trying to pit me and his other talent against one another. I wonder if he says the same sorts of things to each of his talent so that we each stay in line and think we're in his good favor. I wonder this because now that we've worked on an entire season of television together, I've had plenty of time to get familiar with the creator's ways, to understand him. I feel like the creator has two distinct sides. One is generous and over-the-top complimentary. He can make anyone feel like the most important person in the world. I've seen him do this when he made the entire crew give our production designer a five-minute standing ovation for the jail set he built in two days, or when he gave a speech thanking our stunt coordinator. The coordinator cried with gratitude. The creator knows how to make someone feel important. The other side is mean-spirited, controlling, and terrifying. The creator can tear you down and humiliate you. I've seen him do this when he fired a six-year-old on the spot for messing up a few lines on a rehearsal day. And when a boom operator accidentally dropped the boom into a shot and the creator stomped over to him and screamed in his face that he was responsible for ruining a magical take and he hoped that he would regret it for the rest of his life. I've seen the creator make grown men and women cry with his insults and degradation. He'll call people idiots, buffoons, stupid, dumb, sloppy, careless, retarded, and spineless. The creator knows how to make someone feel worthless. That's why I've learned with time that as much as I want the compliments to mean something to me, I can't let them. Because tomorrow he might be screaming insults in my face that will hurt me just as much as the compliments raise me up. I feel that I always need to be on guard around him, catering to him emotionally. I feel similarly around the creator as I feel around mom. On edge, desperate to please, terrified of stepping out of line. Put both of them together in the same room and I'm overwhelmed.